My guest today is Mr. Phil Robertson. He is the host of In the Woods with Phil. He is the author of a new book coming out and uh, has had a fairly storied life and uh, media career. Thank you for coming on. Hey, good to be here. Yeah. So uh, what I'd like to do is I want to talk to you about your book in a minute. Yep. But before then, uh, I have been trying to convince The Blaze to put me in charge of its reality television show, Wing. Yep. And you were the only person I know with any reality television show bravado or gravitas behind you. So I feel Ooh. like if you'll endorse my ideas, there's a yeah. really good chance they're going to give them. So hey, you never know, man. Can I, can I run a few by you? Hey, Okay, so these are my ideas for reality television shows that I, I want to do at the Blaze, which I would I would I would willing to be I'd be willing to be executive producer of all these programs for an additional six figures uh, beyond my current salary. If you're listening, so uh, first one, pimp my lawyer. Pimp your lawyer. It basically what you'd do is you'd bring in your attorney and you'd give him a makeover and try and make him uh, more more glamorous, I guess. Yeah, it possibly could work. In other words. Uh, uh, you see it in reality, literally reality, not even on a show, but you see it in the real world all the time. You know what I'm saying? I guess your lawyer's better looking than my uh, lawyer. Hey, lawyer, when's the last time I've talked to a lawyer? I would say, what, 30, 40, maybe 50 years ago. How have you had a career in media without having an attorney? Are you just winging it? Well, you got to remember, I've never owned a cell phone, so I'm fairly difficult to reach. Okay. I've never read what people say on the cell phone or a computer. I don't use computers or cell phone. I'm 72, old okay. school. All right. You're like, all of that is just clutter. I Okay, then I might just get rid of my lawyer and my cell phone. They, they negate each other, and then I'm fine. All right. Um, I mean, you can make it in America under capitalism, trust me, without a cell phone and computer. Well, you, and you made your, your bucks making duck calls, right? Because you're, you're primarily, I mean, you're, you're a lot of things, but the yep. kind of the main business for the yep. last few years is duck yep. call manufacturing. Yep. Trust in God, trust in capitalism is my code, and work hard. Okay. Well, and I want to talk to you about both God and capitalism in a moment, but I got a couple of awesome ideas I want to remember. Do you know what Rumspringa is? What? Rumspringa is, so, you know Amish folks. Oh, yeah. Uh, so there, some of them have a thing called Rumspringa. I, I spoke some, to some other day. Yeah. Yeah, they were in the crowd in uh, uh, Pennsylvania, uh -huh. Harrisburg, and I just noticed they were there. And, I, and I spoke well of them because I looked at them and I said, uh, for whatever it's worth, I said, you know, I've never owned a cell phone in the computer. And I noticed y'all have uh, kind of been pretty staunch about holding on to the old ways. I said, it's pretty smart on your part. And you, you both have pretty kicking beards. Yeah. Like you could, if you just wore more black instead they literally, of camo. The ones in the audience, one or two of them came by, the older ones, and they said, would you, we want to welcome you to come to speak to our people. Oh, nice. So after they heard my speech. Perfect. So, so this is the idea I have for a reality television right. show. Um, so Rumspringa is when some of the Amish communities, when they turn 18, the kids go out in the world and they, you know, have PlayStations and, and drink and that kind of thing. Yep. So I'm thinking of a program called Rum Springa Gone Wild, where I would take 18-year-old Amish kids and try and show them a good time. <laughs> but I, I got to say, like, you don't know me super well. I'm kind of like a Disney-level rascal. So I'm I'm a rapscallion, but like yeah. within the confines of a Disney universe. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to get him on you, a hard You have roads. to remember, you're talking to a man who deals with, with... Functional families. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we take the scriptures and we teach our children and we, uh, uh, we, 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 we rebuke them, we correct them, we train them, and we show them and we teach them to love their God and love each other. So far, I haven't seen the downside. Now, I don't know whether that would work. When, when they pitched the idea, when they came from New York City, A&E, and they pitched the idea of putting us on a reality show, I said, let me guess. Y'all were having a meeting about what we could come up with, like you, dealing with yeah. Yeah, this would make a good reality show. I said, probably someone stood up in the back and said, Bob, I know this is way out there. I know I'm, I'm, I'm stretching the limits here. But is it possible we might could have a functional family doing a reality show? <laughs> huh. And they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That would, that would limit the screaming, which yeah, is the whole said, foundation of reality it, television. Sure, and they said the problem would be, where would you find one? A functional family. <laughs> and they, they, so they ended up down on the riverbank, way in deep in Louisiana in the woods, to find a functional family. And they pitched the idea and then left. And all my boys said, Dad, what about it? I said, well... 
I said, a bunch of rednecks shooting ducks. I said, guys, I don't think it'll work. I said, however, I said, we're believers in God. If he has a hand in this, and he might have, I said, it'll probably go ballistic. I said, so my vote is whatever y'all decide, that's what we'll do. So they decided my sons and their wives, let's do it. So we did it. Positive experience? Did you it enjoy did, it? It did go ballistic. Okay. Nice. So, it, um, so it made us all wealthy. So, you know, these deals last five, six years and then fall off the... So then I just need to get one of these going. Yeah, you need and one then, of them. One okay. of them, one of them that, 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 that you can get a hit out of. Then I'll tell you, okay, this is my last so idea. So far, this is a pretty pretty weird <laughs> bunch of reality shows here, but they're all weird, so this, keep going. No, this last one's You're a, really a weird good one. dude. You know, what can I say? I am kind of a weirdo. <laughs> 